We do get questions uh, in spine surgery concerning patients with sciatica or patients with pain going down the arm. We call radiculopathy. And those patients can have pressure on the nerve roots from several different uh, pieces of the anatomy in the neck or in the lower back. When we think about disc herniations, of course, when patients have a piece of the, uh, the disc, this blue material here, rupture back and pinch the nerve root, that causes the pain down the leg. Because there is a small area here called the neuroforamen for the nerve root to come out, that area can be filled with other things as well, including a bone spur or a piece of bone that comes off the facet joint, uh, the disc material, of course, or what we call spinal stenosis. So of those three types of diseases, the disc herniation is the most common uh, in younger patients. As we get older, the arthritis that's around these small joints called the facet joints can start to pinch the nerve roots. We call that foraminal stenosis or pressure along the nerve root causing the sciatic pain as well. An MRI scan or a CAT scan with a myelogram is the way to visualize those structures uh, in the spine and help determine what the proper treatment options would be. In general, with the pain going down the, down the leg or the arm, that pressure that's on the nerve root can be relieved with medications, either pills or shots to help decrease the inflammation and the pain that's there. Uh, physical therapy or chiropractic care to open up that space and take the pressure off the nerve root. Or surgery where we actually remove those pieces of bone spur or disc herniation or cartilage material that may be pinching the nerve root. When we look at the spinal canal from the top down, we can see there's an area here for the spinal nerves to come through. We call this the spinal canal. So the discs are in the front here, in the back the spinous process, and the lamina on either side. As that spinal canal travels from the brain down through the spinal canal and the nerve roots uh, branch off to go down to the arms and to the legs, that area here can get filled with bone spurs or arthritis and causes concentric narrowing around the spinal canal. That's what we call central spinal stenosis. That spinal stenosis, that pressure on the nerve roots, decreases the information flow from the brain down to the legs or down to the arm and slows down the function of the leg or the arm so the leg or the arm gets tired. You may know pa patients or family that have had problems with walking, they can't walk very far because their legs get tired or they feel achy and sore uh, after they've walked for too long. There are several reasons for that, but one of the reasons in spinal surgery is related to this st spinal stenosis, the pressure along the spinal canal. You may have also heard about a laminectomy, and the laminectomy, you heard that word lamina on either side, but that piece of bone, the laminectomy is removing those pieces of bone, the spinous processes, when we remove that, it opens up that space for the nerve roots to be seen, and then we can re take the pressure off the nerve roots on either side. That laminectomy, we call a decompressive procedure, removing the pressure, decompressing the nerve roots so that the nerve roots can function and the information can flow again from the brain down to the legs or to the arm.